We have all accepted that you need to take what you eat on the internet with a pinch of salt. But what if we told you we have a list of foods that you need to take with a pinch of salt too? Because every food on this list is a total fake, a pot impasta, and a kitchen creeper. And you might be surprised at some that we have uncovered. Foods you're eating that are fake. Wasabi. Wasabi is a lie. The commercial type of wasabi that you eat 99% of the time isn't anything like the real thing. Real wasabi is ridiculously pricey at $160 a kilogram, so it is definitely not being served up at your corner conveyor belt of sushi. What makes it expensive is how difficult it is to grow and then how difficult it is to prepare. Wasabi is a root vegetable, and to get the signature dry but hot flavor, it needs to be freshly grated and pulverized into a paste, then served within 15 minutes or it loses its zing. The wasabi we have come to know and love is merely horseradish, hot mustard and green dye. White chocolate Chocolate is made up of three elements to qualify for the title, namely chocolate liqueur, cocoa butter, and cocoa solids. It is the chocolate liqueur and cocoa solids which are the antioxidants that give chocolate its nutritional benefit. White chocolate doesn't have chocolate liqueur or cocoa solids, so it is lacking the wonders of chocolate. And worst of all, chocolate makers trying to save a buck began to replace cocoa butter, the only remaining ingredient relating it to the chocolate family, with cheap fats like vegetable oils. In 2004, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration ruled that to use the name white chocolate, the product must contain at least 20% cocoa butter and not more than 55% sugar or sweeteners. Extra virgin olive oil Extra virgin olive oil has been tainted. This once royal food of the Greek gods is now paraded around like a cheap floozy of cooking oil. Instead of pure pressed olives, the commercial oils are usually blends heavily diluted with cheaper oils like peanut, canola, or soybean. These can pose health risks when not labeled correctly for allergies. Oreo cookies The plot thickens and even your childhood memories are not safe. In 1912, when Oreo creams first launched, right up until the 90s, you could enjoy a lard-based filling in your Oreo in the comfort of your home any day of the week. But somewhere in the 90s, while we were crushing on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and chasing waterfalls, Nabisco pulled the wool over our eyes. Enter the Oreo creams. No more cream, no more lard, but instead a dairy-free, partially hydrogenated vegetable oil filling. Gone are the joys of childhood Gone are the carefree days of lard-filled cookies. Even Destiny's Child will never sing again. So, are they suitable for vegans? Nope, they still cannot experience the joys of the simple Oreo. Because, according to Nabisco, it has cross-contact with milk. Honey. Even the bees aren't safe when it comes to slipping fake ingredients into their perfect creation. Studies show that 75% of US grocery store honey contains ingredients that aren't honey. The guilty parties add fructose syrup or add corn syrup to water down the bees' perfect product. There is also the common crime of mislabeling honey types and selling them as specialist and expensive honey, like Manuka honey. Here are a few tests you can do to check your next honey at home. Real honey isn't sticky like syrup. Rub a bit of real honey between your fingers and you will see the difference. It is also thick. It takes ages for an air bubble to travel from one side of the honey jar to the other when turned upside down. Red Velvet Red Velvet cake in the modern era is mostly a chocolate cake with a ton of red artificial food coloring. But what built up the hype around this delicacy shows how far modern cakes have deviated from the original delight. Red Velvet is by nature a dense, moist cake. It gets its velvety texture from a combination of the fine texture cocoa powder added to the flour and buttermilk. However, the signature red color came from the addition of beets and beet juice during times of rationing. Beets offered a far more appealing color than a plain cake and kept the cake moist. But the red velvet cake also has more origin stories than Marvel and DC combined, so leave a comment below where you think it got its signature color from. Sushi. Seems the fish aren't impervious to fakers either. Those tuna rolls you love are the farthest thing from the truth. Well, except that they are rolls, but the tuna you are being sold is usually a subpar fish called escolar, known informally as X lax fish because of the effect it has on its consumers. A marine conservation group survey conducted on New York sushi restaurants found that 100% of them served fish that was mislabeled. 
Vanilla extract. Vanilla has been lying all along. The type of vanilla we are eating when it comes to your favorite vanilla product is lamb made malarkey. The real stuff is far more expensive and involves the arduous task of soaking vanilla pods in alcohol. Thankfully, the experts agree that for recipes that call for heat, the result achieved by vanilla essence is virtually undetectable. But when it comes to ice cream, for example, it's worth opting for the real thing. Pomegranate juice. Pomegranate has an impressive list of health benefits and is a hot topic in the superfood movement. But sadly, what is being punted as a miracle pomegranate juice is really just false advertising. Look closely and you will find the vast majority is a combination of grape, apple and other filler juices and blends, with very little being super about it except the price tag. Be sure to check the label before you lay down your life savings for a gallon of this miracle worker. Coffee grinds. If you're not a fan of the loud roar of a coffee grinder in the morning, you might opt for the pre-ground bags of coffee. But you might be walking away with more than you bargained for and less of what you paid for. Research has found that ground coffee is often cut with filler substances. Evidence of everything from barley to corn, twigs to parchment have been found inside bags of your favorite commercial brews. Just another reason to buy beans from your local roaster and support small business. Lobster. When you order lobster, make sure that the only thing that is authentic isn't the price tag. In 2017, investigators from Inside Edition uncovered a lobster league of extraordinary thieves. 35% of lobster dishes across the USA were not a DNA match to lobster. Many of the crooks sold lobster but served langostino or whiting. Sure, the langostino is known as little lobster, but this crustacean is more a hermit crab than an American lobster and doesn't fetch near the same price tag. Bacon bits. Ever read the label of bacon bits? Turns out your favorite pork seasoning is actually suitable for vegan. That's because no animals were harmed in the making of this meaty seasoning. It is only a cleverly crafted recipe of soy flour, caramel color, maltodextrin, yeast extract, and flavor enhancers, and a bunch of ingredients that only scientists can pronounce. Regardless, if you're looking for bacon or a meat alternative, give the bacon bits a skip, and you will undoubtedly live a longer, healthier life. Champagne. A bottle of real champagne will always have the country of origin on the label, plus the name and address of the producer, including the name of its town or village. There are about 400 villages where champagne can be produced, but some USA brands have found a loophole and are still labeling their sparkling wine as champagne. So here is a simple way to tell what bubbly is bubbly and what is real champers. Champagne can only be produced in France, so if the address on the label is California, you can bet your bottom dollar it ain't the real thing. A real producer of champagne has a professional registration code. This must appear on the bottles. Then, on the lower corner of the bottle will be the letters NM or RM. NM stands for Negociant Manipulant, meaning that the champagne is made from grapes, juice or wine that is bought. RM stands for Recultant Manipulant, the true originals that grow, harvest and bottle champagne from their own grapes. And now you know, a vote santé! Wine. Wine is named after the grapes it's made from, so you would expect a Merlot to contain 100% Merlot grapes. However, that isn't always the case. Check the label and you might find that your Merlot is only 75% what you expected it to be and 25% bargain barrel grapes. Even reading the label isn't a surefire way to know what you are buying. The winemaker is protected with rules that prescribe that they don't have to always disclose the full truth and nothing but the truth. Winemakers are only required to list other grapes if the designated grape is less than 75%, so there is a chance only three quarters of the wine is the one you actually bought. Soy sauce. Let's just say that authentic soy sauce is far more mature than the store-bought varieties we are used to. The real stuff is produced by steaming soybeans and roasted wheat for two full days. Then, the beans ferment in barrels with salt for two years. It is a labor-intensive and more distinctive process to commercially manufacture. Soy sauce that contains flavoring and other additives is completely faked. Which of these fake foods do you still love, despite knowing its true origin? Let us know in the comments below. 1. Popcorn Butter 
This one might just ruin your day, but it is the fake food we have all been denying the origin of for far too long. Popcorn butter is really not fresh from the farm, but we are sure you knew that. However, the ingredients read more like a science experiment than food, with a list of chemicals longer than your last shopping list. The salty faker doesn't end its reign of delicious terror there. It also delivers half your daily dose of saturated fats in a single dose. And let's be honest, who stops at a single serving of popcorn? Plus, it partners that with a half gram of trans fat to mess with your good cholesterol and raise your bad cholesterol levels. Here's the real kicker. This faker contains a toxic substance that has been associated with lung disease, a commonly used flavoring called diacetyl. So if the heart attack doesn't get you, your diseased lungs could give it a crack.